Welcome to the third Demaray demonstration video. Uh, this demonstration is how to uh, activate and start using and turning on the Demaray UV ultraviolet lamp. Previous videos, uh, it's been shown how to charge the batteries for mains power and how to uh, start and complete the patient setup wizard. Uh, it's now ready to uh, be activated. To turn on the Demaray UV, simply hold down the enter key or the middle button for three seconds. Now because the uh, setup wizard's already been completed, we're at the idle screen. It says Dermray.com, then it'll show the battery status, either full, good or low. The year, date and time. Now uh, basically every key has a different function at this uh, welcome or idle screen. The top key, if it's held down for three seconds, will uh, simply turn the lamp on. Uh, and it's on until you then turn it off by hitting uh, enter and picking uh, cancel. Holding down the right key for three seconds um, will load the last patient's next pre-programmed automatic treatment. Uh, holding down the bottom key or the down arrow for three seconds will turn the lamp on for a predetermined amount of time. For example, if 100 uh, seconds is selected, it'll turn on, count down 100 seconds and then switch off. Just to run through all those features now, if we want to turn the lamp on just like a traditional uh, ultraviolet lamp, Simply hold the top key down for three seconds. Three seconds is a precaution so it can't be uh, accidentally activated. You'll see the device now says move lamp to therapy area. It's actually uh, turned on and ready to be activated now, but it won't start the ultraviolet light transmission until it detects proximity to a treatment area. For example, my hand. Or the bench. Now you notice the timer is counting up, counting seconds. It's going to stay on until we turn it off in this mode. Just to demonstrate how the uh, proximity detection system works, if we move it away from a treatment area, it will indicate that it's uh, lost the connect connection. Stop the timer. If you go back to a treatment area, it'll detect that you're uh, on the treatment area and start the timer again. To end this mode, uh, you need to do that manually by pressing the enter key. Then you can either, one, pause, which will pause the timer, two, uh, cancel, oh, sorry, two, continue, and three, cancel. We want to cancel to turn it off. <clears throat> to load the treatment uh, for the last patient who used the system, or the only patient uh, if you've just run the setup wizard, simply hold down the right key when you're at the welcome screen that says dermaray.com and it'll load the next treatment automatically without having to go into the menu. So it's loading patient Nick, all treatment areas. Now this will run through the next treatment for me, or for the patient Nick, um, through all the areas. And we already set up scalp and elbow. Uh, so it's asking me to move to a treatment area. So it's now started treating my area scalp. And because of my skin type uh, and the disease I'm treating, it's allocated about 35 seconds of the first treatment. It'll count that down, and once that treatment is finished, you'll see what will happen. It'll ask to go to the next area and indicate um, to move to the next treatment area, and it will also um, start a new timer for that new treatment area. So you can't really miss a treatment area, and you can't really overexpose if you follow the instructions. Beeps every now and then to let you know it's turned on and activated. And it'll beep again when this time is finished. It's down to six seconds now, five seconds. Okay, now it's telling us to move to the elbow. We can either start that treatment, skip the treatment, or restart the previous treatment. If we start this next treatment for the second treatment area being an elbow, just hit enter. Now it's telling me to move the lamp to my elbow or the next treatment area. Once it's against that treatment area, it'll then start the, t the countdown for my elbow. Being 30 seconds, or 35 seconds. Anytime the lamps move too quickly or held too far from the treatment area, it'll stop the tre treatment timer and uh, indicate that it's not close enough to the treatment surface. Putting it back in place or moving it around slightly uh, should start the timer and reconnect the um, infrared detection.
once the treatment for my um, elbow's finished in three seconds, there'll be all the treatments over. Indicates all treatment, all, all areas completed, and it's finished. Now, if you wanted to turn off the unit, you simply hold down the enter key for three seconds, and it's now off. That can be recharged or put away, for, put away for the day. Just to demonstrate the uh, other manual method of turning the lamp on, hold down enter again for three seconds. We've gone through on until it's turned off, loading the last patient's next treatment. Now I just display how to turn on the lamp um, for a predetermined amount of time. Hold down the bottom key or the down arrow for three seconds. And then similar to entering the patient name, we want to uh, tell it for how long to stay on for. So if we do uh, 10 seconds, pick a one and a zero. And you can either scroll down the bottom to exit or with the cursor at the top, you can just press enter. Now we've told the lamp to come on manually for 10 seconds and it'll turn off after that 10 seconds. Again, it won't start. There's no ultraviolet light being, um, being exposed until it detects uh, a treatment area. So if we simulate that by putting it on the bench, it'll switch on for 10 seconds. You can see the timer. Three, two and one and it'll turn off. If we wanted to load uh, the next treatment for the last patient being Nick, we can simply hold the right key for three seconds, Nick all treatment areas. And you'll notice that it says recommended treatment every two days for psoriasis. So Dermaray has realized that I've already been treated today and I should wait another day before I run my second treatment. Uh, if I do want to override that, I can. I can cancel or continue but as per our recommendations, psoriasis should only be treated every two days at the, uh, at the uh, most. So if we came back tomorrow, we wouldn't be, um, wouldn't be presented with that message or the warning. So we continue. And Dermaray wants to know if, as a result of your last treatment, was there any redness, burning or itching from your last therapy? If there was, it was either too long or, um, or too strong a treatment. So to answer that question, was there any burning or redness? Uh, if you select yes, uh, your next treatment will be reduced to uh, lessen the chance of burning. If there wasn't, it means there's a satisfactory uh, level of treatment for you. So you can pick no. It's now going to increase the next treatment time uh, up to the safe maximum for your skin type. So it's now allocating 48 seconds for the next treatment, whereas the first one was about 35 or 36 seconds and that will continue up to the safe maximum for your skin type and disease type. Once you reach the safe maximum for your, um, for your situation, each and every next treatment for that patient will be at the maximum. Just cancel that. To stop a treatment at any time, you press enter, pause, continue or cancel. To turn off Dermaray, hold down the enter key for three seconds. And that concludes uh, this demonstration.